Namaste. Mindful Yoga. Today, we will do some yoga posture or yoga asanas which will help us in a mindfulness. The question comes that what is mindfulness? Mindfulness, acknowledgement of awareness, state of calmness at same time when we are aware about our body, body sensations, breathing or we are in present movement. That's called mindfulness. When we are completely aware about our body or about our present state of mind. That's called mindfulness. So we will do the, some yoga postures which will help us to promote the calmness in the body, promote the mindfulness at same time, make us feel light, calm and mindful. So let's begin the practice. Let's start with our first asana. First we are going to do the Vrikshasana or a palm tree pose. Palm tree pose is one of the posture which will help us to increase or enhance the awareness of the body, enhance the awareness of the mind and in a mindfulness when we are aware about something, when we have an acknowledgement of anything or for something that's called mindfulness. So Vrikshasan is one of the yoga posture or a yogasana which will really help us to boost and enhance the awareness of the body, enhance the awareness of the mind at the same time, increase the focus, decrease the stress level from the body and help us to control the emotions, help us to increase the focus and awareness. So let's begin the posture. In the beginning, what do you need to do? Your feet sit together. Now from here, gently bend your left leg knee and fix your left leg heel close to your right leg thigh root. So gently shift your body weight on your right leg, grab your left leg ankle and fix it by the side of your right thigh root. Now from here, bring your arms here shoulder level and then join your palms with each other. Your fingers should be on activation mode. Be aware about your toes. Be aware about your body balance. And try to bring your eyeballs to the one point. Feel the awareness towards your body and try to centralize your body weight to the single leg. Take the three breaths inside and gently exhale your breath out. Now gently release your hands, give support to your ankle and release your left leg and fix it by the side of your right feet. Now let's do it with the other side same. Before a beginning, if it's getting difficult for you to find out the balance, then what you can do? I will tell you the variation if you are a beginner and it's getting hard for you to balance out the body in Rikshasana. Let's perform with the other side. Shift your body weight on your left leg. Gently release your right leg and grab your ankle of your right leg and fix it at the root of your left leg thigh. Now hands shoulder level. Hold your hands and Namaskar. Stay here, balance out your body and be aware about your each and every part of your body. There should be a smile on your face. Bring your eyeballs to the one point and try to channelize your energies. Try to use your toes and try to keep pressing your toes on the mat while you're holding a posture. Deep breath inside and outside three times. Now gently release your hands first. Give support to your ankle and gently release your legging. Keep it by the side of your left leg feet. Let me tell you the variation. Whenever you're doing any yoga posture, you need to be aware about your muscles, where you're feeling deep stretching and the which kind of breath pattern you are 
using while you performing any yoga posture or any yoga asana so let me tell you the variation if you are a beginner then how you can do the vrikshasan for a mindfulness or to increase the awareness of the body and mind so keep taking support your back your entire hips with the wall and gently shift your body weight on your right leg catch your left ankle and place it at the root of your right leg thigh try to touch your thigh with the wall if possible for you if it's getting difficult then simply keep it by the side of your other leg thigh now inhale hands shoulder level exhale join your palms with each other because you have a support gently close your eyes and bring your entire focus on your breathing be aware about your breathing be aware about your muscle engagement and feel which muscles are engaging or putting effort while you're doing rikshasan take the three deep breath inside and exhale the three deep breaths outside you need to be aware about your body you need to be aware about your breathing that's called mindfulness that's called mindful yoga when you are aware about each and everything your breathing body sensations which kind of thought process you have during any yoga posture then gently release your hands give support to your ankle and release your feet let's do it with the other side shift your body weight on your left leg and fix and grab your right leg and fix your right leg feet or right leg heel a maximum close at the root of your left leg thigh now inhale hands here shoulder level exhale join your palms with each other try to keep pressing your toes on the floor and try to feel the touch of the floor with your feet be aware about the floor touch be aware about your muscle engagement or muscle struggle be aware about your breathing try to centralize your body and try to channelize your energies in the body then you are aware about each and everything then you have acknowledgement of present that's called mindful or mindfulness gently open your eyes release your hands give support to your ankle and release and come back as i told you vrikshasan is not a only asana vrikshasan is a one of the posture which will help us to decrease the stress level make us feel light calm at same time strengthen the entire leg muscles also it helps us to enhance the memory power it help us to secrete the happy hormones in the body let's move ahead to the next asana next we are going to the simple standing tadasana a simple standing restorative posture for that what you need to do you need to wide your legs and gently open your palms but you need to be aware about your leg position leg formation you need to be aware about your palms and you need to analyze your entire body while you are in the posture what is the benefits or what are the benefits of tadasana or simple restorative standing position we have a lots of benefits of this posture it increase the awareness of the body at same time mind this posture will help us to increase the focus enhance or promote the all over well being at same time this yoga asana this yoga posture is one of the yoga posture which comes from standing series which promotes the entire relaxation to the muscles increase the energy level in the body and promote the calmness in the body or in the mind so let's do this posture for that what you need to do gently make comfortable gap between your legs that should be the more decent gap between your legs your heels toes should be in line now what you need to do you need to relax down your legs make your legs comfortable on your mat and now gently wide your hands not too much wide loose your fingers your hands should be quite far from your body 
relax your shoulder no need to elevate them or no need to lift your shoulders up while you're doing this standing tadasana position relax your shoulders relax down your mind no muscle engagement now bring your entire focus on your toes and feel the touch of the mat feel which kind of body sensations you are feeling in this yoga asana or in a yoga posture try to do the belly breathing if possible for you deep breath inside and exhale the deep breath outside inhale or you can place the single hand out on the right hand on your belly when you want to make yourself mindful then you have to be aware about your breathing or about your body movements gently release your hands open your eyes and gently come back sometimes it's getting quite hard for us to hold the same posture with closed eyes because sometimes we start feeling dizzy while we holding in this asana so that what you can do you can hold or you can do the same posture with open eyes bring your eyeballs to the one point your finger should be loose and relaxed shoulder should be comfortable no need to hunch your back like that provide the proper space to your belly to your lower abdominal walls or to the upper abdominal walls your lower transverse muscles or lower abdominal walls should be tight and or engage but not forcefully but yes naturally gently come back as i told you the benefits now let's do the sun sitting yoga postures for a mindfulness or let's do the mindful yoga in sitting position simply sit down on your mat now you are going to do the vajrasana Vajrasana is one of the yoga asana or yoga posture which will promote awareness at same time give the light and night stretching almost all over body as we are going through the side stretching in vajrasana the side stretching thunderbolt pose will help us to increase the awareness of the body helps to promote the all over well well being at same time the thunderbolt pose or our vajrasana side stretching will help us to give the night nice stretching around the side activate the entire arms at same time if someone is suffering from indigestion because sometimes what happen we are suffer from lots of problems if we have a problem with related digestions if we have a constipation or if we have a gastric related issues or if you have any other issues related to the digestion then it's been quite hard for us to being a mindful so this thunderbolt pose side stretching help us to promote the all over well being release the stress level from mind body and increase the awareness and increase the present state of mind so let's start the yoga posture for that this is kala vajrasana let me show you from back side you should be here your toes pointing outside touch your toes with each other from the back heels pointing outside fix your both hips between your heels just like that this should be the position from the back side never sit on your heels your heels should be comfortable while you holding this posture now from front side that should be a same position knees sit together touch your toes heels outside and sit it comfortably in thunderbolt pose now first try to take a two deep breath and feel the awareness towards your entire legs feel the awareness and feel which kind of sensations you are feeling around your knees and which kind of stretching you are feeling all over your thighs also so your hand should be here by the side and make a cup with your finger so place your hands here rotate your shoulders up back and down spine should be upright now what do you need to do inhale turn your right palm outside your eyes should be closed be aware about your breathing and body movement 
exhale, slide your hand slightly outside, turn your neck up and give the proper stretching to your side and thunderbolt side stretching or to the Vajrasana side stretching. Gently come back and feel the proper awareness of your body movement and try to sink your body with the breath. Inhale, bring your arm up just over your head. Exhale, slide your right hand outward and give the proper stretching to the side. Press your arms a little bit out. No need to give the deep stretching, but yes, light stretching. Gently come back. Get the same stretching with the other side. Inhale, bring your right arm just over your head. Give the proper stretching to your side. Take the two deep breaths inside and outside. Don't make yourself rebellious. Release your emotions. Try to feel the stretching towards your side muscles of the body. Come back. Two, two more times with each side. Inhale. Be aware about your body. Exhale. Stretch your body to the side. Turn your neck up if possible for you. And come back. You need to be aware about your body. Be do it with each movement with awareness. Exhale down. Come back. Stretch your body with the other side. Inhale, bring your left arm just over your head. Slide your right hand outward. Exhale down. Come back. One, one more time. Inhale your right arm just over your head. Exhale, stretch your body. You can place the palm down of your left hand if you're feeling comfortable then. Come back. Inhale your left arm just over your head. Exhale, slide your right hand quite outside. You can place the palm down if you want. Turn your neck up. Be aware about your body and gently come back. Fix your hands here on your thighs. Stay here for a few seconds in Thunderbolt pose or in Vajrasana. Vajrasana promotes the calm state of mind, decrease stress level. At the same time, help us to control the rapid thoughts. Change the brain waves, which enhance or improve or promote the mindfulness. As we're doing the mindful yoga today, all these yoga postures are really very helpful to awaken the calm state of mind and promote the all over well being. Gently open your eyes and come back. Release your legs. Let me tell you one more thing. If you're feeling any kind of unease in Vajrasana, then what you can do? Fix something soft under your hips while you're doing this yoga posture or yoga asana. Because sometimes what happens? We are feeling uh, quite unease around the knees. We are feeling quite unease around the ankles. So that fix something soft under your hips or between your calf muscles and thighs. It will make the same yoga posture quite easy to perform. Now gently release your legs by the side. Let's move ahead to the next asana. Next we are going to the side stretching in Upavistakonasana. That means a seated wider leg pose side stretching. As in this posture, we are going to wide the leg and this posture is one of the yoga posture which will help us to promote the mindfulness. Same time help us to decrease the stress level from mind, body and help us to give the nice and deep stretching to the entire hip joints, pelvis area, inner thighs and strengthen the entire back also. So let's perform this posture. For that, you need to wide your legs. Simply wide your legs according to your comfort. No need to wide your legs too much or do not close your legs too much. That should be a perfect distance between your both legs. So simply wide your legs first. Comfortable gap between your both legs. 
Now from here, what you can do? You can simply stretch your toes inside. This should be the position of your feet or your leg. Now, no need to bend your knees. Try to press your kneecaps or your patella down. Now press your patella cap upward. Extend your knees as much as you can. And that should be a proper engagement of your thighs. And while you're stretching your toes inside, feel the proper stretching close to your calf muscle or around your calf muscle. You should be aware about each and every muscle stretching whenever you're doing mindful yoga. Because in a mindfulness or when you're doing mindful yoga, you have to be aware about your breathing, muscle stretching, you have to be in present and try to acknowledge each and everything, each and every sensation, each and every contraction and stretching while you're doing any yoga posture. So let's do this. Stretch your toes inside. Your spine, your entire back should be straight from the back. Now, fix your both hands by the side and make a cup with your both hands. Keep it by the side of your hips. Constantly keep stretching your toes inside. Rotate your shoulders up, back and down. Now from here, turn your right palm upward. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Exhale, slide your hand outward. And stay here, hold this posture according to your flexibility. No need to give the deep stretching. Stay here with a light stretching. You have to be aware about your pelvis area. You have to be aware about your inner thighs. While you're doing this, why did leg? Sit it side stretching. Gently come back. Let's do it with the other side. Inhale, bring your left arm up just over your head. Exhale, constantly stretching your toes inside while you're performing this yoga posture. Stretch and press your right hand outward and lock your elbow if possible for you. Turn your neck up and release your head. Last and final time with each side, but at the same time, bring your entire awareness towards your pelvis area, around your hip region, around your back. So inhale, bring your right arm just over your head and stretch your body. Mindful yoga. Exhale, hand down. Let's do it with the other side. Inhale, bring your left arm just over your head. Exhale, slide your body and give the side stretching to your entire side muscles. Feel the deep stretching around your inner thighs and keep extending your knees down to the mat. Exhale, come back and release your legs. Now, gently fold your legs and come back. You can perform this yoga asana or yoga posture five, five times with each side, but with proper awareness. You have to be aware about your breathing and try to sync your body movements with the breathing while you're doing this yoga posture or yoga asanas. Now from here, let's move ahead to the next asana. Next, we are going to do Paribhita Janashes asana. Why I took all these asanas, because all these asanas are really very helpful to enhance or promote the mindfulness, help us to give the nice stretching to the entire body, increase the flexibility, promote the entire all over well-being, decrease the stress level from the muscles or even from the mind. So let's perform the next asana. Next, we are going to do the simple revolve head to knee pose or a Parivritta Janashes asana. This is an excellent yoga posture for a mindfulness. If you want to be aware about your body, if you want to make yourself flexible, if you want to strengthen your leg muscles, if you want to tone your sides, if you want to give the flexibility to your spine, if you want to increase the blood circulation to your heart, lungs, if you want to increase your entire arm muscles, if you want to tone your arm muscles, then it is the excellent yoga posture 
for all these things. At same time, promote the all over well-being. So let's perform this yoga posture. Go left side of your mat and simply fold your left leg. Your heel should be maximum close to your both thighs root. Create your right leg by the side. Now what you need to do, no need to move your leg too much forward or do not press the same right leg too much back while you are doing this. Now what you need to do, if you are a beginner or if you are doing this asana for first time, then no need to stretch the toes inside because while we are stretching the toes inside, we are feeling lots of pressure around the thighs, there are lots of deep contraction towards the thigh muscle. At the same time, we start feeling a deep stretching around the inner thigh or close to the calf muscle or around the calf muscle. So, your toes should be relaxed in a starting. While you're doing uh, three or a four times, then you can start performing the same yoga posture with stretching the toes inside. Let's do this yoga posture. For the first time, the toes should be relaxed, your leg should be relaxed. Try to feel the proper stretching all over the right leg. Now, inhale, hand should be here, shoulder level. Exhale, join your palms with each other. Turn your body to the center. No need to turn your body to the right leg. You need to turn your body. Your body should be front facing. So adjust your body completely. Open your fingers, touch your both elbows. With your chest, your fingers should be on activation mode. Now, your toes should be relaxed. Exhale, lean your body gently down. Not too much. Yes, a little bit. Feel the proper stretching while you're leaning your body down. Bring your entire awareness, entire focus around your pelvis area or around your inner thighs. Whenever you're leaning your body down, the stretch is increasing. Exhale, go down. Stay here without stretching your toes inside. Inhale and come up. Exhale, go down. Feel the proper stretching. You can do with the closed eyes. It will help you to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes the all over well-being, calm the mind, slow down the breath, and come back. Stretch your toes inside with the third round. Or you can use your right hand to slide this hand outward. Exhale, stretch and stretch your hand outward towards your ankle if possible. Turn your chest upward and come back. Two more times or you can take keep, place the hands just by the side of your waist. Exhale, slide your hand outward, stretch your body. Be aware about your body and gently come back. You have to be aware about your stretching and breathing. Last and final time, exhale, slide your hand outward. Give the light stretching to your body, turn your neck upward and stay here. Focus on the muscle stretch and bring your focus on your breathing oil as well. Gently come back. Let's do it with the other side. As I told you, the two variations Whatever suits you most, you can do. Because while we're doing the revolve head to knee pose in a complete way, it's getting quite hard for us. For a mindfulness, we're only doing the half head to knee pose or revolve head to knee pose. Straight your leg, keep it by the side. Line your body. Because I told you, if you're a beginner, you can lose the toes. If you are feeling comfortable or if you're feeling comfortable with proper stretching to the inner thigh, then start keep stretching your toes inside. Now from here, what you need to do, inhale, bring your hands shoulder level, exhale, join your palms. Now inhale, exhale gently, lean and feel the stretching to the side and you can feel your stretching is getting increased while you're leaning your body down. Inhale, come up. No need to lift the elbows. You have to be aware about your body, but with a light coming. Namaskara Mudra. Exhale, down. Inhale, come up. 
Try to increase the blood circulation around your pelvis, around your belly or around your hip and back area. Let's perform the other variation as I told you the two variations with the other side. Let's add the one more variation. You can take this support and bring your right arm just over your head and stretch your body. Turn your neck upward and try to press your hand outward. Exhale gently hand down. Two more times, inhale, bring your arm upward. Which variation suits you more, you can do according to your flexibility. Deep breath inside and deep breath outside and come back. Last and final time, inhale, bring your arm up, exhale, stretch your body. Inhale, breath inside, exhale, stretch your body muscles and exhale breath here outside come back with the normal breathing gently feet together i told you many variations with revolve head to knee pose or parivritta janushesasana so whatever suits you you can perform or you can do for mindful yoga or for a mindfulness now from here let's move ahead to the next asana next we are going to do the Supported Pigeon Pose. Supported Pigeon Pose is one of the yoga posture which will promote the entire all of our well-being, give the nice and sweet stretching or increase the blood circulation around reproductive organs, keep the kidney, liver, increase the digestion, give the proper stretching to the hip muscles, give the nice and deep stretching or stretches the muscles which is located around the patella. Patella means your knee gap. Now at same time, this the simple supported peasant pose help us to increase the stretching at same time increase the blood circulation to the entire all over body or to the entire body. So let's perform this asana and let's increase the blood circulation to the almost all over body. Especially this asana for lower portion of the body. While we're giving a support, it helps us to make the spine neutral at the same time. For that, you need to come at the top side of your mat and simply pull your left leg just front of your body. Now move your right leg just behind your back, flatten your back leg feet. This should be the position. Align your hip and knee in line if possible for you. No need to press the leg too much out. Sometimes what happens if our hips or if our knee or ankle are not that much flexible, this body is moving backward. In a starting, keep it inside according to your comfort. Now, try to flatten your feet and try to fill this space if possible for you. Try to touch your this thigh on the mat. If it's getting difficult for you, then you can fix pillow under the opposite hip muscle not with the same side but yes with the opposite side so that you can easily balance your both side you can make your both hips equally squared from the back so let's do it align your body try to adjust your body according to your flexibility flatten your right leg feet now gently touch your elbows on the mat and open your fingers and give support to your chin Three deep breaths inside and exhale, three deep breaths outside. Try to transfer your body weight to the right side and stay here. Try to lengthen your spine if possible for you. Keep your spine straight. Be aware about your body. Feel where you're feeling stretching more. Be aware about your breathing. Be aware about your body stretchings and be in present. Acknowledge each and everything about your body or about the body sensations and joints. Keep shifting your body weight to the right side but no need to lift the other leg hip upward. That means the left leg hip upward. Gently release. Switch your leg, change your leg. Now your right leg forward and your left leg should be back, just behind your back. Flatten your feet, adjust your feet according to your flexibility of your body. Sometimes what happens, body is moving to the single side, then fix something under this hip or to the opposite hip. 
Flatten your feet now. Your elbows on the mat and give support to your chin and take the three deep breath inside and the three deep breath outside. Now gently release the support. Keep taking support and release your legs and come back. Fold your legs. If you want to rest your forehead on the mat, even you can rest. There are lots of variations with the supported pigeon pose. Supported pigeon pose is an excellent posture to increase the flexibility or to promote the mindfulness also because this posture activates the parasympathetic nervous system if we perform this yoga posture in a restorative way or in a supportive way. Let's do the other yoga posture. Next, we are going to do the butterfly posture or a Badhakonasana. Badhakonasana is an excellent posture for a mindfulness. At the same time, this is the yoga posture which nourish the entire abdominal walls, give the proper stretching to the pelvis, inner thighs, give the proper stretching to your hip area, strengthen the entire back muscles and help us to feel the enlightenment help us to feel the light about the body and mind this is the yoga posture which help us to promote the blood circulation and enhance the energy level in the body we can say so let's perform this asana and let's make the entire body energetic for that what you need to do you need to join your souls with each other just like a book no need to press your knees too much downside let your knees freely go down according to your flexibility. Adjust your body completely. Your spine should be upright and grab your ankles. Rotate your shoulders up, back and down. Loose your shoulders, spine should be upright. No need to give the too much stress around your pelvis, around your knees or to your ankles. If you're feeling deep stretching or if it's getting hard for you to hold the posture, then pick something soft under your knees so that you can easily hold the posture. Stay here, take the five deep breaths inside and the five deep breaths outside. Acknowledge stretching, acknowledge which kind of sensations you are feeling while you're holding butterfly posture or while you're holding a in a butterfly posture, there are some variations. Sometimes we keeping the heels too much close, sometimes at the center, sometimes quite far to keep it at the center at the comfortable position. Now take the five deep breath inside and the five deep breath outside. Gently open your eyes and release your legs. If you're feeling too much stretching, then you can fix something under your knees such as pillow or you can fix blanket also. Gently come back. Badakunasana help us to promote the mindfulness, decrease that stress level. At the same time, this is a restorative pose. This is therapeutic yoga posture, which will help us to give or increase the flexibility of joints also. Now from here, let's move ahead to the next asana. Let's do the other yoga posture. Next, we are going to do the supported lizard pose or we are going to do the supported Uttana Prasthasana. This is yoga posture which increase the awareness and make us feel more presentive, increase the awareness of the body, mind, increase the flexibility of the body and help us to feel a light, calm, stable also. So let's perform this yoga posture. For that, simply open your fingers, move your right leg back and touch your back leg knee down to the mat. Flatten your right leg feet 
and fix your left leg by the side of your both hands. Now from here, touch your elbows down to the mat. And if you have pillow, then fix pillow between your both elbows or between your both arms. Stay here, hold the posture. You can rest your forehead on the pillow if you have just around you. Feel the proper stretching around the hip area. And take the three deep breath inside and the three deep breath outside. Release. Repeat the same yoga asana with the other side. Your left leg back and fix your right leg by the side of your both hands. Back leg feet should be flattened. Tuck your elbows down. Relax and feel the proper stretching around your hip area. Back leg feet should be flattened. Stay here for deep three breaths and be aware about your breathing and stretching. Gently straight your arms and release your yoga posture. Simply cross your legs and come back. Whenever you're feeling exertion, after any yoga posture, after any yoga asana, always feel free to take a break. As try to perform all these asanas such as Vajrasana side stretching, Rakshasana palm tree pose, or we done the Upavishta Konasana side stretching, or we done the revolve head to knee pose, all these asanas as a Baddha Konasana, we done the supported present pose. These all yoga postures help us to promote the mindfulness. As we done the mindful yoga today, these all yoga postures are excellent yoga postures to enhance the awareness, enhance the positivity in the body or in the mind also as i hope you perform all these asanas stay fit perform all these asanas on this note as my name is Puli parihar and you are learning with siddhi yoga don't forget to share your experience with me till then namaste